Rick and Morty, the most news in the morning, period. Weekday, 6 Eastern. Now, I know you have some strong Thank ideas you. about how this country is conducting its war on drugs. We just heard from some of our viewers who strongly support legalizing marijuana. Do you think we should legalize pot alone or all drugs, including heroin, cocaine, and meth? Well, I think we should look at the federal drug war, and I would say the federal drug war has failed, so we should reject it. When I talk about changing the law, I want to go back to the constitutional approach to a problem like this, and that is through the states. Uh, up until 1937, there wasn't even a, a law against marijuana, and, and at that time, they just passed a law to tax it. So we've had an experience in this country where we didn't have all these laws, but it was regulated by the states. Alcohol is legalized by the federal government, but it's regulated you know, by, by state laws. So I'm thinking more of an approach like that. But what upsets me so much is when the state tries to exert its authority over marijuana, like in California, they'll pass a law and say that sick people can use it. So people who are dying with AIDS or cancer are getting benefit from marijuana. Then the federal government comes in and says, we don't care about the state law. And they just override and they put people into prison for this. We have now over 500,000 people in prison that never committed a violent crime for drug use. And there are mandatory uh, jail sentences under these conditions. This right. makes no sense. It's so right, expensive well, and it hasn't achieved anything. So let me just get your, your, your position on this, though. You think the federal government should just stay out of trying to legalize all drugs. And that, that's not just marijuana, but all drugs. Right, and, and I would uh, let the states deal with it. It would be a state issue on how they do it. I, I recall as a youngster when I worked in a drugstore, I sold uh, a co a codeine and cough medicine over the counter. I could buy it as a teenager. And it wasn't a drug problem, so it isn't the lack of laws that causes the drug problem. I mean, the real drug problem and, and, and disaster in this country is alcohol and nicotine. That's what's killing people. So we're dealing with the minutia, but we're creating a monstrous legal problem costing hundreds of billions of dollars and putting people in prison that should be treated as sick people. They shouldn't be treated as criminals. We treat alcoholics. What if we put all our alcoholics in prison? I mean, it makes no sense whatsoever. Prohibition of alcohol was the biggest absurdity, social absurdity, and it committed a lot of crime. Back then, it was the borders between the United States and Canada. That's where the alcohol was coming in from Canada back there in Prohibition. Now, now it's Mexico. But uh, the, the problems we have is because the price of these drugs is about a thousand times greater than it would be. Actually, some of this stuff is useless if it's just allowed to be out in the open. Uh, so we've created most of the problems for ourselves. And, and these drug wars uh, are a consequence of our policies. Right, well, let me just ask you this, because there are people that see your point of view, in fact, a lot of them do, but there are people that vehemently disagree. They believe that if we legalize drugs, especially hard drugs, that we're just going to see more addicts and we're going to see more pain. In fact, I talked to a former DEA special agent, Robert Stutman, on our show on Monday, and he says that if you uh, think that, that, uh, that legalization is the right way to go, it's naive. Let's listen to his point. Well, I... I you legalize, you will at least double, some studies say, five to ten times as much. Uh, you give drugs to kids, they'll use them, period. Anybody that thinks that's not true has never met a kid or a drug addict. Congressman, what about the position that we'll just be creating more addicts by making it easier for kids to get? Well, I would compare the statistics of how many people were using marijuana before 1937 and what kind of problems we've had. After it was made illegal and we created the drug war, we've had a massive increase of use of these drugs. So I think that very statistic refutes everything that he says. And if you're looking for this so-called gateway drug, uh, the most addicting drug, it is claimed by many uh, scientists, it's, it's nicotine. That's more addictive than, than right. marijuana, and it kills more people. So we're on the wrong track, and uh, we, we could do so, so much better by just coming to common sense, putting the responsibility on the individual and the family and the local community and our state governments. Instead of creating this monstrous drug war, which has only been going on since Nixon's time in the early 1970s, our but literally hundreds of billions of dollars have been spent and it keeps getting worse but there's a lot of law enforcement officials and a lot of judges right. that would like to see these rules change okay but congressman are you planning on introducing any legislation about legalizing drugs or leaving it in the hands of the state i know you have an industrial hemp farming act uh, that, that that you're trying to get through with barney right. frank but what about putting forth legislation to legalize drugs 
Yeah, I have in the past. Uh, I'm not absolutely sure. I don't think I have done it this term. I did the one with industrial hemp, which is one of the consequences of this crazy war. that You can't even grow industrial hemp. It has nothing to do with smoking marijuana, and that would really create jobs in a lot of uh, industry. No, but in the past, I have to change the uh, code on, on marijuana so it would be not prohibited by the federal government and the states would deal with it. All right, so you're talking about marijuana in that instance. Okay, well, right. uh, thank you for your point of view. I know, as I said, there's a lot of people that uh, agree with you and have been weighing in on our website this morning. Uh, Congressman Ron Paul, always great to talk to you. Thanks so much. Thank you.